All right, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Paris. Can you dig it? All right, we're on our 10th episode. Today we'll be putting on the oil pan and covering up all holes that could be wet. Even around the crank, we're going to be taping that off, getting everything ready to be painted. Coming up on Astro Auto Paris. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, we got the pan cleaned up. What you gonna do now, Billy Rob? I notice there's a dent right there. So, I wanna prop this thing up. And I'm gonna show you all how to get this dent out. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, why is he getting ready? You can see there's still a lot of bunch of dirt on the outside. I don't care about that. We're gonna, we're gonna pressure wash this again anyway. The main thing was cleaning out the inside. We're gonna get some paper towels. I'm gonna dry this up. But before we do that, we need to flatten out that bottom. So. What the heck is he doing? The van is right there. There's tools right there in the van. Why is he going all the way up there and he can go right here in the back? This guy's like a cow, man. He milking the, he milking the mess. Get the tools out the when van. When you're used to going oh. to something, you always go to it. When you a baby, you used to go on the mama. You know what? For certain reasons. Man, get the bolt out and do this. There he go with his. Uh. Look, at, he's still going that way. You know why? Because the van don't have. You're taking out a drain plug bolt. One. All right, all right. Let him, let him, You know what? <laughs> Be right back. All right, guys. What I'm gonna do? Let's take this drain bolt out. Set the oil pan up against here. The blocker would be better. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I need a, it should be a little bit higher. You know, let me get some more wood to set up under there. Cause I need that thing to set pretty even. Bear back. All right, got it set in pretty even. And as you look inside here, you can see that big hump right there. I need to take that down. So, what we're gonna do here, Nice four by four piece of wood. Set it in there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> now Let's put our bolt back in here. Turn this back over. Let me get some paper towel and clean that up. And then we're gonna spin the engine back around. Bear right back. All right, guys, we got our engine turned upside down and we had cleaned this previously. So all that is good, man. This channels right here is good. Everything is good. We got our oil pan up here. Cleaned it out inside. Now what I'm going to do is take my little surface grinder and I'm going to clean all this old gasket out. And here we go. We got our new gasket and the seals. So let me get that cleaned up so we can get ready to install it. Be right back. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our little end, the end seals. And this one has a little thing on it. And when you put these on, you definitely have to use a little silicone on the corners. Stop the little, stop the oil from coming through. So that's all you're gonna do is just 
whenever this thing decides to come out, squeeze some silicone right there. Right there. And on the end cap, right there, just a little bit. And right here. Just a little bit. Alright, then I'm gonna set this down into there, so line it. Make sure it's in the channel. Lined up and bring it down. And when we tighten up the oil, well actually the gasket is gonna set right up right up under that one. And this one right here. Now on the back one, however. The gasket is going to sit on the top, and that's all we have to do is just set it down into the channel, push it down, and that's what the silicone is for, in case it doesn't let no oil come out of there. All right, push that down in there. All right, then let's get our new gaskets, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, got my gasket set up. What I want to do here is put a little more silicone into here. Now to keep this gasket in the place, let's get this thing out of the way. What I want to do here is take a small bead of silicone this will help me, this will keep that gasket in the place and it will help with any kind of leaks that it may have and what I want to do is I'm going to pick this up a little bit put a little bit up under there and then I'm going to take my one end and set it down all right right back all right this is coming out great line up under there right there make sure all my bolt holes are lined up Silicone takes about a good half hour before it actually dries, so we actually got the time. Now, what I'm going to do, it looks like I'm running out of the black silicone. So what I'm going to do now is take a thin layer of the red and dab it to the corners, go around, and to the other side. And what I'm going to do is put a small bead right on the outer lip. Here. Alright, let's get that done. Alright guys, I got me a nice thin bead. Red all the way around. This thing ain't gonna leak for years to come. All right, let's set the camera up right here. And then let's go get our oil pan. Okay. Just want to lower my oil pan down on it. Perfect. Now let me get some bolts. Get some bolts out of here. I'm gonna go start putting some bolts in to keep this thing lined up. All right, let's get some more bolts in it and be right back. All right, guys, I got all my bolts in, and these are three eighths bolts. Now, this is very, this is part that's very important because this is caught gasket. If you over tighten it, you will crack it. It will leak. And what you want to do is make sure you start from the center of the oil pan and then work your way out. We got to bring that oil pan down. So, you see it goes in over there. I'm going to go across. And I'm going to go until it just barely stops. And then I'm going to start working around. And 
and just to get it, just to get to give you an idea what I'm talking about here. Okay, let's see here. This one right there. Right All right, now watch that gasket. As I tighten it down, see the silicone coming out, and actually now I'm starting to squeeze up against that gasket. That's where I want to stop at. I don't want to go no more because I can crack that gasket. So let's get all the bolts tightened up, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, there we have it. The gasket is in. Dang, I can't wait to pressure wash this thing. All right, looking good all the way around. Nice seal, nice in there. Everything is done. Perfect. All right, the next thing I want to do is turn this back over, and we got the old distributor cap. I want to put the old distributor cap back on the engine so no oil gets inside the distributor water when we pressure wash it. And I want to get some blue tape, and I want to tape it around here, around the crankshaft, so we keep that sealed up as well all right and then we'll give matter of fact while we, when we turn it over also we're gonna take off this uh i can leave it on for now <laughs> all right we'll be right back also also you know what also we we'll get the old spark plugs when i put the old spark plugs back in because i don't want the water going down into the cylinders all right we'll be right back all right guys we are ready to pressure wash this thing got my spark plugs in got my cap on to protect my um the module and everything got my chain hooked up now I'm going to move the table and this is what I'm going to do. The ramp on the back of the truck, because it was a rider truck, I'm going to pull it out a little bit, back the truck up to here, use the engine hoist to set, and hopefully the ramp will hold the engine up. <laughs> it will support it. <coughs> and then I'm going to bring it up to the pressure washer and all and we can get this done. So let's get this table out of the way and get this all set up. Alright guys, we've got the engine up on this hoist. Now, just like I said, the idea of this is to set it down up here. Hopefully this thing is strong enough to support it. I have no idea, but now I gotta back the truck up enough without having to pull that all the way out. All right, so let me back the truck up and be right back. Said, what the what the deuce? Dang. Uh, I guess you can you move the I guess I can you, move, yeah move, I can move uh, more move your hoist. Okay. That's too much. Yeah yeah it's good it's good. Oh OG. It's good it's good. Now hopefully Hopefully he's not in get a lot of things. Okay. Let's see how strong this thing is. But it's not on the wood. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's all good. 
how strong wood is the lamp. Yep. Is that gonna stay? Of course not. Alright, to add to be to give it added security guys, what I'm gonna do here is take Bring these bolts in a little bit more. Hmm, that's pretty smart. That's Ashford. Let's go to the other side. I set the other one up just like that. Guess that's good. All right, now what we're gonna do? Sivy's gonna drive the truck. I am not. Sivy's gonna drive the truck. I am not. I'm <laughs> gonna sit back here. Okay, <coughs> sit right there and hold the engine. Yeah, okay, you gonna do that? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, tell you what, sit on the other side. Why? Because there's a feet on this. I can what? You go ahead. You go ahead. You get comfortable wherever you feel. That side is looks more roomy. Where are my you legs gonna go? This one you can't really sit back because all this is in the way. All right. Trust me. Fine. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, here we go. We're moving along. We're going kind of slow. Hit it! No. Ooh. Riding around in my automobile. Okay, we're about to go down the hill. Oh my god. Here we go. Going down the driveway. Oh boy. That wasn't too bad. Whee! Okay. Well, if there's a car coming, it'll we'll hit that ramp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, now we're going up the other driveway. That wasn't so bad. Not at all. The engine didn't move at all. Good job. All right, guys, we got it over here. Sylvia said the engine didn't move much at all, so this is great, man. This is a nice little setup. So, <clears throat> the next thing we we'll do, I definitely I got the spark plugs in it, so I want to pressure wash places that we didn't get to last time because I want to make sure this primer and everything sticks and it don't peel off a week later. All right, so over here we got our pressure washer. You guys have seen this before. Got to prime this up. And we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. We'll be right back. Alright guys, check it out. This looks good, man. Now we can get it back across the street. Um, use some compressed air, clean it all up, and let it sit overnight before I paint it. Make sure it completely dries up this looks great all right let's take the ride back across the street bear right back okay we're going back up now that's coming no nope. let it 
engine is steady. Here we go. Here we go up the hill. All right, guys, perfect. We got the engine over here. Now, let's get our hoist over there. Huh. This is going to be good. Uh, I guess I'm going to, because the wheels are going down a slope. So, I guess I'm gonna have to really push back on this. You can do it. You eat rice and beans. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. Oh, one, person, knows. <laughs> one person gonna know what you're talking about. <laughs> and there was somebody else who made a comment to it. So that was funny. Oh, they did? Yeah, I think it was Gary Richmond, maybe. Tell you what. Center of this thing. All right, let's get this hooked up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Dang, I'm way down here now. So, you know what, I'm going to just pick up a little bit and see if I can slide it with this. Oh. There's a whole bunch of noise. Hey, it didn't work out quite like I wanted to, but it's all good. I told you, you could. Um, and actually while it's up here on the chain and all I'm gonna move the truck forward and I'm gonna take the air blower and blow this thing clean be right back all right guys got it all blown off but still I'm not gonna paint it I want to let it set for a day let it completely dry but in the meantime let's set it back on the engine stand Here we go. Next time we come back, guys, we'll be putting the primer on it. Yeah, buddy. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so this is the end of this episode on this 1977 Buick LeSabre uh, 350 engine. If you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.